In this video, we will demonstrate using the CData ADO.NET provider to build an OLAP cube in SSAS from Snowflake data. This video walks through creating an analysis services project in Visual Studio to build and deploy a multi-dimensional model of Snowflake data. To follow along, you need an accessible SSAS instance and the CData ADO.NET provider installed. Start by creating an analysis services multi-dimensional and data mining project in Visual Studio. Next, create a data source for Snowflake in the project. In the Solution Explorer, right-click Data Source and select New Data Source. Opt to create a data source based on an existing or new connection and click New. In the Connection Manager, select CData ADO.NET Provider for Snowflake. Enter the connection properties and click Next. To connect to Snowflake, set URL to the URL of the Snowflake instance. Set Warehouse to the Snowflake Warehouse. Optionally set Database and Schema to restrict the tables and views exposed. Set Account to your Snowflake account. And set User and Password to your Snowflake credentials based on your auth scheme. When you configure the connection, you may also want to set the max rows property. This will limit the number of rows returned, which is especially helpful for improving performance when designing reports and visualizations. In the data source wizard, set the impersonation method to inherit and click next. Name the data source and click finish. After you create the data source, create the data source view. In the Solution Explorer, right-click Data Source Views and select New Data Source View. Select the data source you just created and click Next. Choose a foreign key match pattern that matches your underlying data source and click Next. Select Snowflake Tables to add to the view and click Next. Name the view and click Finish. Based on the foreign key match scheme, relationships in the underlying data will be automatically detected. You can view and edit these relationships by double-clicking the data source view. The last step before you can process the project and deploy Snowflake data to SSAS is creating the cubes. In the Solution Explorer, right-click Cubes and select New Cube. Select Use Existing Tables and click Next. Select the tables that will be used for measure group tables and click Next. Select the dimensions to be created based on the available tables and click Next. Review all of your selections and click Finish. With the data source, data source view, and cube created, you are ready to deploy the cube to SSAS. To configure the target server and database, right-click the project and select Properties. Navigate to Deployment and configure the server and database properties in the target section. After configuring the target server and database, right-click the project and select Process. You may need to build and deploy the project as a part of this step. Once the project is built and deployed, click Run in the Process Database Wizard. Now you have an OLAP cube for Snowflake data in your SSAS instance, ready to be analyzed, reported, and viewed. Get started with a free 30-day trial of the CData ADO.NET provider for Snowflake, and start working with live Snowflake data in SSAS instances today.